operation. Now, one of the route sets that you're going to, or types of routes you're going to see a lot in Buffalo is the over route. John Brown ran a lot of over routes. Well, the Saints didn't run a lot of over routes with this play action. Then you have to fire the ball with a fair bit of zip here. Drew Brees just didn't have that. But you see a great job of him threatening. Look at Brown and look at um, Sanders here at the bottom of the screen. Watch what happens here. He gets inside of the defensive back. Now he knows the defensive back knows he has a safety over top. But look how Sanders really threatens the, the seam here, forces the defensive back over to the right with his speed. You can't do that if you don't have good separation. Still very artful with his route to be able to sell that seam and then break over the top and underneath. And he's open. Breeze just airmails this ball. He just can't get enough zip on the ball to keep the ball down. And because the ball's high, because he just doesn't have that arm strength anymore, Sanders is just is not in a position to be able to catch it. If the you know Josh Allen has the arm that he can throw this ball on a line drive and this would be a completion for a big gain because you'd see the ball arrive about right here Sanders would be able to then continue running get up the sideline probably get outside the safety here's John Brown on an over route top of the screen working to the, across the field to the right he doesn't get nearly the separation that uh that um Sanders got and I'll explain to you why but because Josh Allen has a laser. He can put that ball exactly where it needs to be in tight coverage, and Brown makes the catch. Now, here's the difference between John Brown and Emmanuel Sanders. John Brown on this over route has the same situation, just on the opposite side of the field. See how he starts his route to the inside? He doesn't really flatten out the route that much. He doesn't threat force the safety to stay inside. The safety's already working to the outside before Brown makes his break. So Brown hasn't sold this route up the seam as much as he should have. If he could have a little bit more, this would have caused the defender to slide over a little bit more to the right. With safety here, same safety here would have waited in this area. And then he could have gotten more separation across. But he doesn't get a lot of separation. And Allen just makes an unbelievable throw and bails out the route, really. Great catch by Brown, but not a good route. Not compared to what Sanders can do here. So Sanders working with Allen is going to be nice. Another part of playing with Josh Allen is that Allen has the gun to extend plays and make extended plays deep downfield. So you're going to see John Brown working up here on an over route off the bottom of the screen here. And when he breaks into this open area, his route doesn't come open. It's actually not an over. It's a, it's a post or a deep cross. And you're going to see here that Allen is in trouble. He avoids pressure. Brown now at the top of the screen sees that and starts to work back up the sideline. Now, Drew Brees at this point wouldn't be able to make this throw. Allen, not a problem. Gets rid of the ball within two steps of seeing Brown coming back, which tells you the confidence he has in that gun of his to get that ball out. Can Sanders still win that route? Absolutely. He just didn't have quarterbacks who could throw it. Either their timing was bad when you're talking about Taysom Hill or Drew Brees who just didn't have the gun to throw the intermediate out anymore. So you're looking at Sanders who's working up from the inside and watch him really pull the trigger with this break at the top of his route. He's got the defender turning downfield with his hips downfield, threatening with the, the speed. So you can tell that they still have to respect his separation skills. And he comes downhill very well here and then drops his weight and makes that sudden turn. The defender's already a step inside and has to grab. And even so, he has two steps on the defender. The ball's thrown behind him, but he still makes the grab. Josh Allen put that out in front of him, and he catches his ball in stride. He might turn up field. Here's another example up top of the screen. Out route again. Watch him work inside. Defenders playing that deeper quadrant here, even with the safety playing over top, high in that region because he knows he might get beat in outside the numbers here. Sanders is able to make a speed turn. Nice break. Turns the defender around. Easy play. Ball arrives a little late. He has to wait on it. Once again, Sanders baiting the defender. You're going to see him at the bottom of the screen here. He's going to work against number 20. 
You can see him selling the outside of that route and then flattening out as if he's going deep. So he, he tells the story as if he's going deep. And then you see him bend a little bit to the outside. And that forces the defender now to begin a turn downfield as if he's going to get beat on a fade route. And he continues downfield. And he's pulling the, Sanders is pulling the trigger to break back outside. And look at the separation that he gets here. If this ball comes arrives sooner and not low and behind, Sanders has room to run. Might be able to make number 20 miss and then have a one-on-one -on -one with the safety for a big play. This is what the difference between having Drew Brees at this point and Josh Allen. Look at Brown on the out route. You're going to see him at the bottom right here of the screen. This is wide open. The ball's already out. Right up on his hands, a little high, but on his hands and out in, almost out in front for him to be able to turn up field. Brown ran a lot more out routes in 2019. You can see him at the bottom of the screen here against the Titans. He's going to work that out inside, get that defender thinking the deep seam or deep numbers. Turns the corner. The ball's already coming out. Ball arrives pretty much on the numbers. Has to slow down just a bit, but plenty of room here to make the catch without a huge adjustment to have to get low or anything like that so you can catch the ball and turn up field to get some yardage. That's what Emmanuel Sanders can expect 